That was silly. What a silly video. <laughs>to do the stupidest video I've ever filmed. It's possible. This is actually a first impression. We are going to be doing a full face of clear makeup. This is something that has actually like been swimming around in my brain for a long time. It's like an interesting concept for a video. Like, oh, what if, what if I put a spit on makeup and was like, oh, it's all clear. Like, and then this comes out and I was like, okay, Becca, get out of my head. So this is the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. And it would be remiss if I did not mention the fact that at least Wayne Goss has totally hated this and panned this. I have not watched any other reviews, but I've kind of heard through the grapevine that some creators were able to make it work, quote unquote. I'm going to try to not apply other pigment makeup with this to try and make her work as a primer or something like that. That is not the intention here. I am really trying to go for like, is my face improved by clear makeup? So I didn't just pick that up. I also got the new Becca Zero No Pigment Glass Highlighter for face and lip. I have hated every product that I've ever used like this. This is just meant to be like a texture wet highlight on my face with no other like, I don't know, iridescence or refraction to it. They drive me crazy, but I did it anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. And then I also got a couple of their like translucent blue products that are kind of like color correcty. So I got the anti-fatigue under eye primer and I'm pretty sure she is blue. And I've actually already opened this one. <laughs> this is the uh, Becca mist. I'm not really sure what the actual product is called. They don't have the box anymore, but it's like their lip balm. Oh, here it is. Huh? Plumping lip balm. Way to go, Khaki. And um, yeah, it's very Ichiban lipstick for men. But yeah, so I'm gonna move you guys in. We're gonna put all of this on my face and see if it blows my mind or if I have thoroughly wasted all of my money and Becca has really pulled one over on us. So let's find out. <laughs> Okay, so this is what she looks like. This is the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. And we're just gonna dip right on in here. Oh, oh, we have some ceremony. There is a little paddle. We have a little thingy. We'll talk about all the like claims on this in a second. But I do want to point out that like all the ads on Instagram that I see for this are like on a teenager. I'm like, well, <laughs> doesn't really bode well for me, Becca. So this is what it looks like. It looks very silicone-y. What do we got here? First ingredient, water, acrylates, cross polymer, glycerin, blutalilin glycol, dipropylen glycol, hydrogenated castor oil, hyaluronic acid. Interesting. Gonna, I'm gonna read the instructions. I'm gonna make sure I do this right. You never know. Use the spatula to apply product to fingertips and then gently smooth and tap onto the face. One might argue that this is the ultimate inclusive foundation because it matches all skin tones. <laughs> I feel like Becca kind of took the high road on that one. Hello? Um, it feels fantastic, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's like really cooling. Mm. And I fully expected it to totally disagree with the Purito Comfy Water, which is the mineral sunscreen that I use. And it didn't disagree with it, I expected it to just like roll up and look crazy. I will say when this came in the mail, it came with like an almost apologetic amount of samples. There is a foundation, a color corrector, a powder, a blush. That might be it. Ooh, this feels really cool <laughs> on my face. And it's actually drying down, which I didn't expect. Huh. We have mattification. Okay, it's kind of cooling and then also kind of like, is my lip sweating? I'm not really, I'm not sure if it's kind of doing something funny. But it definitely like actually dries down, which is super interesting. I'm still not like completely sold on it, but I am definitely a no makeup makeup person. And so 
if there's a customer for this, it might be me. I don't, I don't know if I've got just sucker written across my forehead in clear Sharpie at this point, but we'll see. So, um, I don't categorically hate that. I do, along with Wayne Goss, object to the fact that they call it a foundation because it's not a foundation, but it does make my skin look better. I don't know. Let's see about this color corrector because honestly, one of my favorite color correctors and it's one of the ones that they sent me a sample of uh, is the under eye brightening corrector. And I truly like believe wholeheartedly in that product as an under eye and honestly like almost a replacement on a light makeup day for concealer. It's so good at refracting light, you know, just kind of being uh, camouflage without putting pigment on your face. And so I'm interested to see what a blue one is gonna do. Blue would typically cancel out orange. So that's what I'm assuming is the concept here. This again is the anti-fatigue under eye primer. And uh, you know, primer, Probably should have gone on before virtual foundation, but I don't really know if it matters because it's clear, so. <laughs> that was silly, what a silly video. <laughs> I've like imagined how I was going to feel while doing this video for like ever since I got this stuff in the mail and I just knew I was gonna erupt in laughter. <laughs> like there's nothing not weird about this, so. Um... All right, between that eye and that eye, actually it does an okay job. Although it's minty and cooling and it's giving me a little bit of like bees in lids, you know, where like you feel like you put Burt's Bees on your eyeballs, which is like not my favorite feeling in the world. But I don't hate that. I actually think that it's kind of nice. I'm not sure what it's like claims are in terms of whether or not it's gonna like make eyeshadow stay on longer or what, but it feels a little silly. <laughs> The whole thing feels a little silly. So that's that. Let's go ahead and put on some uh, no pigment glass highlighter for face and lip. Let's swatch this for the sake of curiosity. Becca, 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 what are you doing? That's just, that's just a thing. That's just a gloss. I wonder if I could just put that on my lips. Let's see here. I mean, yeah, da 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 da, glossy face. I mean, this is ultimate like chapstick in mascara Twitter. If you're going to put a mattifying virtual foundation on your face, I guess a highlighter would just be something that was textural like that. And as those kinds of face glosses go, this is my least unfavorite. The one from Tower 28 really, really bothers me. I don't know why it just makes me feel like my whole face is sticky. This one's thinner. It's not quite as like emollient, but do you feel like we kind of went in one direction and now we're just going back in the other direction? It's like I went from my face having skincare on it and just being like generally kind of shiny. Then we mattified it and then we're just like selectively shinifying it again. Cause that's how I feel. Also, you know, as someone who is uh, definitely battling the great world of pregnancy pigmentation on my face right now in the middle of summertime, um, this did <clears throat> exactly nothing. So, you know, you gotta really like how your skin looks to begin with. That's definitely a prerequisite for appreciating this product if you so choose. And then we have Ichiban Lipstick for Men, which again is blue. Comes in a lot of shades, but I just, you know, wanted to go with the theme here. And it does have a blue tint to it. It's giving me like, you know, late 90s, early 2000s Y2K vibes. Like, do I think that I look better? Kind of. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I don't think that that was like a nothing experience and it was incredibly fast. The main thing that I feel is like my whole face is just kind of cool. Let's do a little bit of brow because why not? Do a little bit of clear boy brow. Do you ever buy a computer charger off Amazon that's a knockoff Apple and it makes a loud buzzing noise because it's probably about to electrocute you? Yeah, me too. Okay, so that's all of it just clear on. 
To be fair, if you had a non-virtual foundation, a real foundation, if you will, you would still put other things on besides complexion products. So maybe like blush or mascara or things like that. So we'll see kind of how things interact on top of that. I have Danessa Myricks. Let's, let's use this because it is the easiest. And we'll just, uh, what do you think? Kind of, kind of, mm hmm just, you know, pat it right in the, the middle of a bunch of them. That's typically what I do. Because you wouldn't wear foundation just alone, right? And it provides some tug on my skin. <laughs> do I feel like it's making a big enough difference that it's different from putting like skincare on? I don't know, like not no, but also not yes. <laughs> I think I'm just like fascinated by it <laughs> more than anything. And I kind of expected my fascination to be suspended or to end as soon as I actually applied it to my face. And that didn't happen because it actually isn't like a primer that I've used ever. So I don't know. I am going to kind of show you guys what the other color corrector looks like. I mean, I, we've used this many, many times on my channel. This is one of the samples that they sent me, so I might as well just, I can't find the other one. And I just kind of want to show you all because this isn't necessarily, I still think that this applies as a non-pigment product, but this is already such a genius item for camouflaging things without putting makeup on or like, you know, without putting like a uh, shade matched complexion product on. It's just a color cancellation thing. Like look between those two eyes and I can even use it on my melasma. I just think it's a brilliant product. <laughs> and use that to really like camouflage blemishes. Like look at this side of my face to this side of my face, just that lifted appearance. And to be, uh, you know, to, if you're playing along at home, you realize that like, that's not any of the products that they just released. <laughs> this is one that's existed for a long time. I really, really love this product. I will like probably, you know, infinitely repurchase it just because I feel like it is, is so uncomplaining on the skin and yet it gives you so much effect of just being like a neutralizer, I guess. I guess that's the word. It's like a color neutralizer. I'm gonna throw a little mascara on. Like I really expected to have super strong feelings here. Maybe when I look at the prices again, I will have super strong feelings again. I can't really like stop feeling the tingliness. My face is so tingly. <laughs> I am actually not sure if it's just this. And like maybe I spread it on my face a little bit with the blush brush, like that's possible. But it does feel like my whole face feels kind of like it has a cooling effect. So let's, uh, let's open up the claims on the main two here because I just want to know what I'm supposed to be getting out of this. And that will help us kind of render our final thoughts. Becca Zero, no pigment foundation, $36 for an ounce. That's bold. <laughs> That's a bold thing to do when it is a product that does not have any pigmentation to it. I will just say that, but at the same time, good on them for coming out all cylinders firing, Becca. Our new makeup and skincare hybrid to smooth and blur the appearance of skin while hydrating all day with a transparent matte finish. Again, just rising above the entire conversation of inclusivity. They're just like, it's for everybody. <laughs> Blur and smooth imperfections, all day oil control, non-acnegenic. Goes well with all the things that I bought it with. The skin smoothing benefits of foundation without the pigment to let your skin shine through. Our new hybrid of makeup and skincare uses clear light blur technology. I love when they name their technologies. <laughs> clear light blur technology to manipulate light to visibly smooth skin and blur the appearance of imperfections infused with hyaluronic acid the silicone reformula controls oil all day while giving skin all day hydration 
like a refreshing splash of cold water. It does feel like a refreshing splash of cold water. I will give them that. The gel-like texture cools on contact, so it is that. It's not just the under eye stuff. Leaving skin with trans a transparent matte finish. This foundation is perfect for days when you want to take a break from a full face of makeup but still want to perfect your complexion. Showing the world everything you love about your face. Skin is visibly smoothed out, blurred out, with a virtually invisible finish. A virtually invisible finish. <laughs> You said it, not me. Shop Zero No Pigment Glass Highlighter for face and lips. So they did say I can use the, uh, the this stuff on my lips because it, it looks like, it looks like a lip gloss, you know. And it says this product is vegan, Becca Cosmetics is cruelty-free, and PETA certified. So yeah, let's talk about that, uh, that no pigment highlighter situation. She's $24 and actually I'm like pleasantly surprised at how much, even though I'm still getting the sheen from it, I feel like we're really splitting hairs here. Like I, this feels like we started off the video by being like, here's a shark, let's jump over it, let's move on. Like that was how the video begins. You just have to kind of suspend your disbelief a little bit. But uh, $24 for this and it is my least unfavorite of the clear highlighters that I have tried. Like even Glossier doesn't have the balls to put out a clear highlighter, <laughs> like even Glossier. So uh, key benefits, non-stick comfortable wear multi-use on face and lip. The multi-use crystal clear gloss catches and reflects light for a glass-like glow. In one swipe, get a fresh glossy look, high points of the face, even lips to get a super glossy shine. The flexible formula provides non-stick comfortable wear, giving you the perfect sheen on all skin tones. How to use on the lip, apply to the bare lip for a super glossy shine. <laughs> Please don't drink every time I say super glossy shine. Use the doe foot applicator. Yes, that's how, I mean, it's not exactly rocket science over here, fam. The flexible jellyfied polymers catch and reflect pure light for a glass light glow. Okay, I feel like we should zoom in or something and then I will give you guys my final thoughts on these. <laughs> I mean, is it really like, is it worth wear testing a clear foundation? How much more of your time should I waste today? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hello. So, um, I feel kind of like a jerk because I want to say that like, I don't hate this and I kind of get the point. <laughs> um, I, 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 I objectively like how it looks on my skin. <sighs> Am I okay? <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk final thoughts here. Um, would I recommend this? Not in good conscience. I can't tell anybody to spend their hard earned $36 on this or their $22, $24, whatever it was on this. That's a lot of money, but will I wear this again? Yeah, <laughs> I will. I will absolutely wear this again. It's really weird how you don't know before you try a makeup product, whether you're going to be excited about it and it's pretty rare with the things that I try on my channel that I get like excited. You guys see me get excited about stuff, you know, and you're just like, this is new. This is different. This is unique. This is something I'm looking forward to using again. And as someone who does really appreciate all of the nuance of my natural face, I definitely think that's a prerequisite. <laughs> or you have to just be able to wear concealer on top of it or like fully embrace whatever's going on in your skin because obviously there's no true coverage happening here. I feel like that's a, a silly thing to even point out, but it feels like skincare with a dry down. And we've talked about that. I've actually seen a lot of comments in the past where I've been like, oh, I don't wanna wear foundation. And people are like, you should put something down so that you can have that little bit of slip. And like some would argue that like the Glossier skin tint just does about the same thing as this because it just has such low pigment that it's more of just a texture on the skin that gives you more of a secure base to put things on that's not going to move around quite as much as just your skincare or your sunscreen or your bare skin or whatever. So 
Do I think that it made a difference? I actually do. It blurs, it's nice. But I think that the, the weirdest part is that it is cooling and that it dries down. And so it's cooling in a way that it's like kind of lifting your skin and sort of waking you up and Lord knows your girl needs to be woken up. Every surface of my body needs to be woken up right now. Inside, outside, give me all the help that you can give me. But also the fact that it dries down like a, like a makeup, like a makeup. Am I, I'm insane. Don't spend your money on this, but I am going to wear this again. <laughs> I like it, okay? But I understand that I started off this video jumping over several sharks. Just full Evil Knievel, uh, Fonzie from Happy Days, just jumping several sharks to even make this video. But I think that this is pretty and I actually am excited about it and I'm going to continue. comments from people being like khaki that is enough that is enough unsubscribing i'm not telling you to buy this i am not telling you that you need this and especially like i've already forgotten about this the highlighter it's fine it's fine i will continue using it because it is here but i'm only really speaking to this because of just the cooling aspect of it and just <laughs> How it is a thing. It's not a nothing. It is an actual, like it, it, it holds space and it is actually a thing. I don't hate it as much as Wayne Goss hated it. So please don't hate me. <laughs> if there's ever been a channel where someone would appreciate clear makeup, it's this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Everyone always lauds me in the comments for being so honest. I have no ulterior motives here. <laughs> reason to give a positive review to this stuff and yet here we are I I think it looks nice so do with that what you will guys I, I, I oh, I'm laughing because absurdity is my favorite style of humor and this is just straight up absurd so thank you guys for watching hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time today this do give it a thumbs up if you want to keep hanging out with me on this channel hit the button down below and subscribe i would love it if you did like what if i just make the thumbnail i love it and you guys are like unsubscribe oh what a hilarious turn of events uh but yeah guys if you ever want to see my face again subscribe to my channel i promise i i mostly review actual makeup and um i love you guys so much thank you for hanging out with me today and uh i will see you in the next one which will be a favorites we'll talk about actual things that are actual things so yeah thanks for watching love you bye <laughs>